guys, it is bright and early this morning. I thought I would start off the vlog doing a little morning skincare. I'm gonna first do the Paula's Choice 25% AHA, 2% BHA exfoliant peel. I've been doing this like once a week uh, in the morning. Uh, and then later on I have to film a video and I think I'm gonna go to Target today. So I'll take you guys along with me for some Target shopping. So stick around, it's gonna be a fun vlog, but I have not had my coffee yet. So bear with me. Anyways, yeah, I've been enjoying doing this like once a week. And I'm just gonna put it on my cheeks and over my nose. You really don't need very much of it. My allergies are kind of flaring, so my nose is running. <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> you get sniffly from that pollens and stuff. Alright, so I have a good layer on the lower half of my face. I'm also going to put a little bit on my forehead. This has this kind of purpley sheen to it from the blue butterfly. I don't... With a product like this, you don't want to get it around your eyes. You don't want to really get it around your mouth. It says you can use it on the neck, but the thin, the skin on the neck is very thin and prone to a lot of irritation. So I'm not going to use it there. Um, but uh, let's put a little over here on the sides of my face where I missed the spot. Where I feel this the most, though, is definitely on my cheeks. You can feel it tingling. I'm just going to leave it on for 10 minutes. I'm going to go set a timer really quickly. I'll be right back. So I just went and set the timer. Um, so it's been on for about two minutes, but I can definitely already start to feel it tingle just a little bit, which is to be expected with glycolic acid. Um, it's got glycolic, lactic, and mandelic. So that's those three together comprise the 25% AHA. And really what those do is they kind of just help exfoliate some of the top dead layer, smooth everything out, and allow other ingredients, other active ingredients later to get in a little bit better just by kind of leveling the playing field. There's also 2% BHA in this, which, con con I haven't had coffee yet, which concentrates in the oily surfaces to help reduce oiliness and help unclog pores and help with acne breakouts if that's something that you're dealing with. And then this has the blue butterfly flower in it, which has a variety of polyphenols that can, you know, in theory, if they work and get into the skin, they can help fight off free radical damage. I've been using this once a week and I actually really like it. Um, like I said in a prior video where I compared it to The Ordinary, I think, you know, the two products, they are, they are means to the same end as far as smoothing out the surface of the skin and helping brighten up hyperpigmentation, helping with acne, just helping overall skin texture and pores. But what I do like about this is that it is a lot easier to apply than that ordinary AHA, BHA peeling solution. That's just like really challenging to get on in a nice even layer. This, you know, this has some thickeners in it, so it's just easier to apply. But this is so expensive. This was sent to me, so I didn't have to buy it. But um, the ordinary one is a more affordable alternative. It's just a little bit more difficult to, to play around with. All right, so while that is setting up, I'm just going to put on some body moisturizer here. I've been using this body moisturizer. It's actually, I've been using it not only on my body, but on my face. I have two products here actually from this company, Rovectin. I, a while ago I bought um, a moisturizer from them and it had, because I was attracted to this brand because a lot of their products have astaxanthin in them, which is actually kind of hard to find in an affordable product. Anyway, that's that is another kind of antioxidant uh, polyphenol. But they have actually a lot of really good products. So I was drawn to these moisturizers by them and I've been using them for a few weeks now and I actually really like them. Um, so I'm just gonna put a little of the lotion on my body here. Recoup from, recoup from a night of transepidermal water loss. <laughs> I've been trying to be better about moisturizing my body in the morning. I obviously wear sunscreen on my body, but now, you know, I don't, if I'm not, if I'm gonna be wearing pants all day and long sleeves, I don't necessarily put sunscreen on my body because there's no need to. Um, but I do put moisturizer on. And this, I really like. it sinks into the skin and it kind of gives the skin a nice glow to it. I can't remember exactly what all of the ingredients were in it, but it's 
Free of Fragrance. This is a Korean brand, by the way. Uh, we're supposed to have some colder weather coming up, but I've just been, even though I just told you I've been wearing pants a lot, I've also been wearing shorts like when I'm at home. It's kind of nice. color kind of stays in, intact. The nice thing about the purple shade too is you can kind of see where you've applied it as you're applying it. You find her. Oh, this headband. I am loving these, by the way. I got them on iHerb. I can't remember the company. Vintage Beauty Company. It's just, it, there's something vintage in the name, but I just ordered another one because they're really nice and thick and soft, um, and they're pretty inexpensive. I also, as I shared in my Reset Favorites video, have been loving the ones from Etude House, the little kitten ears one. Um, so I got another one of those too. So I love having these to do my skincare routine in the morning. They just keep your hair out of the way. Yeah, that's really... So I just went and checked the timer and it had like 10 seconds on it, so I killed it. Um, and I'm back. I'm gonna rinse it off now, but it feels pretty good. Like it doesn't feel uncomfortable or painful, but if you use something like this, and it's unbearably uncomfortable. You can certainly rinse it off earlier into the, the peel and you'll still derive some benefit. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it off and then the key is to put moisturizer on right away. You don't actually need cleanser to remove this. It should all come off with water. All right, so it's all rinsed off. See, the nice thing about chemical exfoliation as opposed to like coming in with some kind of aggressive scrub is that it's just more precise and you know it's like smoothing everything out in kind of an even fashion as opposed to you know like some kind of micro at home microderm abrasion thing where you're just kind of like plummeting over your stratum corneum in this like honking way yeah all right i told you now i'm going to put moisturizer on but actually i'm going to use um this uh First Aid Beauty Hydrating Toner first that I mentioned recently in a video. Um, it should be up at this point. Um, I have really been loving this, you guys. It has oats in it. And you really don't need very much. Like, can you see that? Probably not. And I'm just gonna pat it in to my cheeks. I'm gonna do a little bit more to my forehead area. I'm gonna take it down to my neck too. Moisturizing ingredients and moisturizing toners, essences, or whatever you can always use on your neck and you know sensitive areas, it's fine. This also has licorice root in it, which kind of gives a skin brightening effect. I've really been enjoying it. All right. All right, now I'm gonna put my moisturizer on. I'm gonna use the Aveeno Calm and Restore Oat Gel Moisturizer. This, I'm telling you, Aveeno, Aveeno, you killed it with this. It's really good. Hard to find, you can get it on Amazon. It is worth it. This is like seriously one of the best moisturizers I have tried out in a long time. I try a lot of moisturizers, you guys, um, a lot, like, a lot. <laughs> I've tried so many products for the purposes of this channel. So for this to stand out really says a lot because I'm not easily impressed. <laughs> I think the longer you review products on YouTube or you know wherever, the higher your standards get. <laughs> All right, just let that sink in. Once that dries, I'm gonna put my sunscreen on. Really important. Alpha hydroxy acids do increase your sensitivity to light. And also anytime you're doing any kind of exfoliating or if you, like myself, use uh, retinoids, you know, I use tretinoin at nighttime. Really what those ingredients do is because they smooth out the top layer of the skin, that allows the light uh, it almost focuses sunlight into the skin a little bit more. Um, as opposed to when there's all this heaped up, oily, uneven, lumpy, dry, crusty stuff on top, it kind of 
scatter stuff. Now, now it's almost like the light is more focused, so it can be a little bit more intense, so to speak, making you a little, you know, more slightly more at risk for more at risk for hyperpigmentation with sun exposure. Obviously, you always need to be wearing sunscreen, but uh with this it's super super important so you know this is still moist <laughs> i'm going to i'm going to i don't know go do something and once it dries i'll come back and i'll show you guys and i'll put on my sunscreen all right so a few minutes have passed like two and my skin is basically dry i'm going to come in with the md solar science SPF 30 um, mineral tinted cream. I really like this sunscreen. It has a whipped consistency and it's just it's really nice and moisturizing. It has a medium tint to it, medium like brown tint. The other thing I like about this sunscreen is like people go on and on and on about eye creams or whatever, but I mean, it just has like this wrinkle smoothing effect to it as an eye cream. Plus, you know, it's preventing eye wrinkles <laughs> and skin cancers. I really like it around the eyes, especially. I think it looks nice. The key with sunscreen application is to take your time. I think people rush through it and that's that's what ends up leading to skip areas and have a hazard application you can get a lot of pilling and balling just take your time go slowly even layers a couple of layers I find that this sunscreen too, if you have a shiny forehead, it kind of kind of masks that a little bit, but it doesn't like dry you out. Now, the First Aid Beauty Weightless Liquid Mineral Sunscreen that I um, shared with you in a video that should be up at this point, it looks, the tint is exactly the same as this. So if you found that that sunscreen tint didn't work for you, this one probably won't either. Um, but this formulation is so smooth, silky, and creamy. That formulation is great in that it's like a liquid, it absorbs really quickly. It's actually not too matte, but I swear the gritty sensation in that is so, the gritty consistency is so weird. And, you know, I don't know what, what the deal is with that. There are a lot of reviews on Sephora saying the same thing. my ears out here. Uh, I slept pretty well last night. Ear massage. Yeah, take your time with an ear massage first thing in the morning. That's relaxing. Isn't this like a acupro actually ac acupressure acupuncture site here on the ears? I feel like they're they're like, I had acupuncture done once in med school. My med school, I went to med school in Colorado, University of Colorado, on Shoots Medical Campus, it's called. Um, and they, like many med schools, have a um, complementary alternative medicine center. And I did a rotation through there, and they have like an acupuncturist um, and uh, like, what else did they have? I can't remember. Anyways, so I shadowed the acupuncturist, and as part of the shadowing, I got to have acupuncture 
um, and they put like these little dots on my ears and it was supposed to like help with uh, it was at the time I was really having trouble with my sleep schedule because I had been doing like so many swing shifts and that really messes up your sleep cycle and it actually did help quite a bit it actually did kind of help me fall asleep and stay asleep I don't know you know, and I was really skeptical too. I was, I was like, whatever, like, you know, I, I was like, yeah, this isn't gonna do anything. And I swear it did make a difference. But I haven't done acupuncture since then. It's not something I have made the time for because I don't really have any somatic complaints. <laughs> I feel pretty good, so I haven't sought it out. But uh, maybe it could help with my, my nose. It, it's either allergies or what, but my nose just, spontaneously runs all the time. I don't know, maybe acupuncture could stop that. Cause I don't feel like taking antihistamines, like I'm kind of being stubborn about it. morning skincare routine is done and we did our peel yeah Paula's choice exfoliants are really good the liquid the BHA liquid exfoliant is very good but this is I, I've been enjoying this so yeah I'm gonna get I'm gonna get ready to film a video hey guys I just finished filming a video on neck acne hopefully you all check it out it should be up already if you're interested in it um, but yeah, I'm, I did in fact buy this shirt yesterday. You guys saw me eyeing in Costco, the Mark New York one. Uh, I got the rose, dusty rose, we'll call this color. It's kind of like a corduroy fabric, but it's super soft. Hopefully it holds up well in the wash. Anyways, I wanted to share with you guys this lip balm I've been really loving lately by this company Ever Eden. They make like baby skincare products and this is their baby balm. It kind of looks like the... <laughs> kind of looks like the Drunk Elephant Lippy Balm. And it's got jojoba seed oil, sunflower seed oil, shea butter, and what was the other ingredient? Grape seed oil, no fragrance. And it's really like nice and emollient. You know, yeah, this company Ever Eden, they have a few really nice products the baby lip balm, here's the box. Anyways, yeah, um, the packaging is kind of pretty too. It sort of reminds me, like I said, of the Drunk Elephant Lippy Balm. They also have a moisturizer in one of those uh, jars that's actually a, a pump top. I kind of like those. Um, so yeah, I thought I would share that with you guys if you're in the market for a lip balm. This company is cruelty free as well. It's really nice. Um, so yeah, I thought I would share that with you guys. I need to trim my dill on my on my arrow garden. He's like banging his head up against the roof of the little light, overhead light. Oh, one of you guys asked me the other day, did my ring light ever come? And it did, it's outside right now, but I will show it to you guys. I'm gonna bring it in. I like it, I've been happy with it so far. Um, and it's much better than the one I had before. The one I had before was a good ring light as far as the light. But the stand, the, the, um, the neck, I should say, was such a pain because it had these, these wimpy little screws on the base that got stripped very easily and it would just like flop around. It was difficult to position. And you know, I spotted that same ring light in someone's video. I can't remember whose it was. They were kind of showing a behind the scenes. And I saw that they used that ring light. They actually had two of them in their filming setup and they were kind of rearranging their camera a little bit for the behind the scenes clip and showing you guys, showing their audience like how their setup is and i noticed that theirs was kind of wobbly on there on there too like i don't know i so i'm glad i didn't go with that one again it's called the the bad one is called um i mean it's not a bad light but the the neck is bad what was it called the diva the diva ring light i mean it's really popular this one is nice because it's much, it's, it's a much better, I'll show you guys, it's a much better kind of neck apparatus. Yeah, here's my um, ring light and I've been really happy with it. The, um, 
bottom, you know, you can adjust the base, the width of the base if you want. Like you can loosen this and make it whoop, go down. You can adjust the height to here. And what I really like about it is that you can, oh, let me just loosen the screw a little bit here. You can dip it down. Whereas my other one, you couldn't do it like horizontal like that. So you can get a lot of, you can get better angles with this one um, than I could with the other one. I mean, the other one was just a mess on the neck here. Like the, the my old one didn't have this nice neck piece. That would have made it much better. This one um, plugs in like the old one. And then there's a dimmer as well and these come off and you can replace them with um it came with another set that's <clears throat> kind of orange color kind of gives a different vibe to the look but yeah these i'll link this down below if you are at all interested in a ring light the other thing that i don't have out here uh, that came with it is a little attachment here to put your iphone to put your phone so if you want to do selfies or whatever yeah, I have to say, like, in comparison to the other one I used to have that was a lot more expensive, this is a winning. The other thing I like about this, I will show you. I'm here in my bedroom, but the other thing I like about it is that it came with a case, a carrying case. Uh, so you can collapse the tripod and then take off the ring and store it in there in case you need to travel with it. Last night I washed my hair with a sample of the Kristen S. The One Signature Shampoo and it really did not lather like at all, which was odd because it says high lathering and I was like, what is going on here? But I actually like the way my hair came out. It's kind of got an enhanced wave to it. I don't care for the fragrance on this, however. But Kristen S. does have some very good fragrance-free hair care products. You can get these at Target. Speaking of So it looks like Urban Skin RX came out with a clear complexion acne spot treatment serum. Uh, <laughs> practically overnight, it says. That's a bit of a lofty claim. But it actually looks pretty good. It's basically a benzoyl peroxide spot treatment. 5% benzoyl peroxide. But it's also got uh, azelaic acid in it and kojic acid and niacinamide and glutathione and alpha arbutin. That combination of ingredients is really good to include in a spot treatment because uh, if you use this at the first sign that you're getting a, a pimple, those ingredients can help reduce the chances that it will heal with hyperpigmentation, which is what this line is looking out for folks who whose acne tends to heal with a dark mark. This actually looks pretty good. Although Arnica and Echinacea, you can, those people can develop allergies to those, but um, you know, it is what it is. Whoa, did you guys know you can buy Function of Beauty at Target now? <laughs> How did I not know that, seeing as I work with them <laughs> all the time? I love the shampoo. Obviously you can't customize it here, but look, they've got one with rice water in it recently on my oh the bottles are really nice ten dollars and under check it out cool ew this hair care brand looks interesting peace love and hair i'm just drawn to the packaging <laughs> this one sm sounds like it smells nice wild rosella flower and hyaluronic acid cruelty free and vegan made out of a recycled bottle God, love beauty and planets got the hair gummies I, I wish that this trend would go away of hair gummies because <laughs> they're just candy <laughs> yeah here at the fragrance free Kristen S hair care products oh look they've got more function of beauty over here one of these hair gold booster shots Ooh, they've got fragrance free here too of the function of beauty what is this enhance and define your natural curls chia seed flax seed oh nice these boosters are all free of fragrance cool well wow, we're just having a party here in the hair care yeah kristen s has the shampoo the conditioner the detangling tonic the deep treatment mask i I don't do dry shampoo. I know it's popular, but you gotta be careful. It can really aggravate um, 
can cause a folliculitis, basically pimples on the scalp. Cause it's just like, makes this oily, cakey residue on your scalp that's aggravating around the hair follicle. I think it can contribute to hair breakage too. Mm, I wish they, do they have a leave-in, like a leave-in shiny shine product that's free of fragrance? I think they do. Shampoo, conditioner. You guys, or you gals, you have got to stop buying women's razors. Just buy men's razors. There was actually a study that I was reading recently. I can't remember which dermatology journal where they did like a comparison of cost between men's razors marketed for men and razor, razors, razors marketed for women. And the women's ones are so much more expensive. It's crazy. I mean, I always knew that, but like actually seeing the numbers, it was shocking. Like we're getting ripped off for the pink tax. <laughs> Although honestly, they did a good job on the packaging of this Olay, the coconut, I mean, yeah, $14.99. <laughs> Is it like Bahama Breeze in a, in a blade? Remember how when I was in Big Lots, I was shocked by the, um, by the whole uh how ocean spray made a cold brew coffee with cranberry juice and it was just like stay in your lane i kind of sort of feel the same way about vera bradley i mean i guess i can see her doing the cool razor blade handle but like vera bradley shave cream like sometimes people like think like just don't branch out that much i mean how do you go from making cute brightly colored handbags to shave cream although i wonder if this is any good i'm sure it's scented honey i'm still on the journey to find something to organize my cords with uh, i kind of like rigged them with binder clips Ooh, these are cute God, Dash. I have purchased so many Dash things impulsively that I don't use. I'm like not allowed to buy another Dash thing. Like I have one of these mini waffle makers I never use. And I also have, I also have this like mini ice cream maker thing that I've never used either. Cause I don't know, I get it in my head that I'm gonna, I get lured in. So I'm not allowed to buy anything Dash anymore. Ew, this stuff looks good for organizing. Target always has the sweetest mugs, but you guys know me. It's like, what am I supposed to do with something like this? <laughs> so tiny. You're doing great. <laughs> Coffee and country music. I really like this. Texas does it better. That's cute. Oh, aren't these Opal House lunch totes cute? Ooh, I love those. So cute. Hmm, made from plant-based materials. I think I bought one of these. I did buy one of these when I was in Air an Airbnb once because I the, they didn't have like they had bowl. I can't remember what the situation was, but I needed like a bowl, and I bought one of these, and it did the trick. I ended up leaving it there, leaving it behind as a little treat. Isn't this notepad cute? This seems like a bad idea. Strawberry cloud glue? What, what are you supposed to do with that? Resist the temptation to eat it? Like, I'm not a toddler and I want to eat that <laughs> for some reason. It kind of looks like, like a popsicle or something. Elmer's, jeez. Oh my gosh, I love this dress. It's so pretty. It's, Thank you. Oh, I love the lavender color too. That's pretty. Ew, I kind of like that skirt. It's cute. Be cute with a black tank top and like some, a big necklace or something and a fluffy bun. Be a cute outfit. Well guys, I escaped from Target, but I did get that little dress. Hey guys, I just hopped out of the shower and I finished up this Kristen S uh, signature shampoo sample that I had. Yet again, did not lather, just like last night. 
Um, I'm trying to, I, you know, I was, I'm in the process of kind of spring cleaning, decluttering, what have you, and I came across that I had some, you know, little samples for travel purposes. I obviously didn't do any traveling like, you know, I planned over the past year, and I don't plan to do any traveling in the future, so I'm kind of trying to make my way through some, like, shampoo samples and, you know, lotion samples and stuff that I had on hand for for that so yeah maybe you'll see some little minis in in my next empties video um speaking of hair oh my gosh you guys i um every i would say nine ten months or so my shower drain <laughs> starts to be a little less sufficient at draining the water i notice it right away and i know exactly why that is because my hair ends up you know collecting down there and there's a little hair succubus down there well i cannot stomach pulling it out i don't know what it is about me there's something about the sight of hair coming out of a drain that makes me gag <laughs> i mean i'm not queasy. I can look at blood, guts, you know, pus, whatever. It does not bother me whatsoever. But the hair, wet hair in particular, coming out of a drain. I don't have a problem looking at hair, hair balls, or whatever. I mean, at all. I don't have a problem if somebody, like, shows me a bunch of hair from their brush. Nothing like that. It's not like a hair phobia. It, it's some kind of nausea reflex seeing hair come out of drain. I cannot stand it. And so I... <laughs> Because I li have lived in apartments my entire adult life, I always just call the maintenance people and say my shower drain's not draining properly. I think I have a hair clog in there, and they always come and take it out for me. I know you can get those little, those little traps for your, your for hair, but I haven't gotten. I, I should get one. But like I don't know the way my shower drain is. How would it work? Because it's like the hole for the shower drain, but there's like that little bubble thing that comes up and then if you wanna take a bath, the bubble thing goes down to close up the drain. How does the little hair catcher thing work in that situation? Anyways guys, thank you for making it this far in the vlog. I hope you had a wonderful weekend, a great Sunday. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow, bye.